G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of subtracting one number from another, okay? A really, really quick method, and it's a way of subtracting without borrowing. It's a great little trick, uh, which is fairly straightforward, okay? So it's, it's not too crazy, uh, and, you know, it's a very easy one to pick up. So let's do this. Um, so how fast, or how would you usually go about subtracting, I'm going to do a, just a lot of four digit numbers one here, so, so we had 7,354, and I want to subtract from this 4,271. Now how would you go about doing this usually, and how fast could you do this? Could you do it in four seconds? Worked it out already? Hopefully. Okay, the way that you do this normally, I'm, I'm guessing, is as follows. You might go 4 take 1 is 3, and then you might say, well, 5 take 7. I can't do that, so I'm going to have to borrow 1 from here, which is a 2, and this is going to become a 1, and we've got 15 take 7, which makes this into an 8. 2 take 2 is 0, and 7 take 4 is 3, and that's a standard way that you would go about doing this. But I'm going to show you another method right now, a method which is a whole lot faster than doing this, and it's as follows. So, same question, uh, 7,354, and from this I'm going to take 4,271. Ah, I'll show you how I do this, I'll just read the answer over here, right, really fast. I'll show you how I do this in reality. So, a different method of doing this is as follows. We could go 4 take 1 and still get the answer of 3, but instead now, 5 take 7 we can't do. Let's look at the next number along here, we can change this to 35 take away 27. 35 take away 27, hey, the answer to that is 8. We're going to write that as 08, okay, because we're encompassing this particular column here. It's 35 take 27, we're using these two columns. 7 take 4 is 3. No borrowing and a whole lot faster, okay, so there's not this nasty stuff here. We can completely get rid of this particular thing here, and we can use this method here. And get the same answer, but a whole lot quicker, a whole lot easier. Like I said, it's fairly simple, yeah? What about I go through and I'll get rid of these and I'll give you another example of this. So say we were to, to give you a different question now. I'll give you uh, 6,318. And I'm going to get you to do this if you can. Okay, you've seen how it works, so give it a go. 1,274. So take this away, pause it up, give yourself a couple of seconds. You should have almost actually solved it by now, right? <laughs> Let's see how you went. 8 take 4 is 4. 1 take 7 we can't do, but we can do 31 take 27. The answer to that is 4, oh, 04. 6 take 1 is 5. Is that the answer you got? Okay. Hopefully you did. Nice and easy problem. I'll give you a couple more of these. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll get aggressively a little bit harder as we go along, okay? So what about we uh, go 6,527? And from this, we'll take 3,428. There we go. Now, I'll give you a hint. This one's going to be a bit harder. 7 take 8, we can't do. So we look at it and we go 27 take 28. Oh, man, that's not really that great either, is it? Because 27 is less than 28. So we look at the next one. We go 527 take 428. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. We can, you might be able to look at that and go, okay, the answer to that, and if you did, the answer to that is 99, okay? If you, if you look at that and think, there's no way I could have got that, I'll show you a method you can still use anyway, okay, to get this. And then you can go 6 take 3 is 3, okay? That's a way you can do this. But you might look at that and you might say, there's no way I'm going to be able to look at a three-digit number and take away that three-digit number and maintain my sanity at the same time. So I'll show you how you might do this. You might look at this as follows. You can still break this up. You could still actually go, okay, 27, take away 28, we can't do, but maybe if I borrow one from here, and so yeah, there is a bit of borrowing here, we end up with 127, take away 28. So maybe you go, okay, I can do that. That is 99. 4 take 4 is 0. 6 take 3 is 3. Okay, so you can do 
a bit of borrowing if you wish with this, okay, just to make your life a little bit easier, depending on where you might want to. But the big trick with this, I think, is to really try and keep that lookout about where you actually will do that borrowing, okay? And, and maybe you'll do a little bit, but you don't need to do it for everything, and you'll still save yourself time, right? So it's something really worth keeping your eye out for. So say we did um, 3,216. And we took from this 2,708. Now, how will we go about doing this one? 6 take 8 we can't do, but we can do 16 take 8, and we're going to end up with the answer of 8. 2 take 7 we can't do, but we can do 32 take 7, we end up with the answer of 5. That's our answer, 508. So hopefully that's pretty good. Now, I just want to quickly show you a limitation with these and how you might approach these because I think this is a, you know, it's really easy to avoid these these sorts of other complicated questions. Say you had something like as follows. Say you had, I'll, I'll purposely choose some numbers with some low digits at the top and some high digits down the bottom so it's going to get a bit more confusing. Uh, so we have 6, 2, uh, 3, 1, 4, 1. And from this I'm going to take 1, 7, 5, 2, uh, 5, 7. Okay, and I've purposely chosen it, as you might notice it. So every one of these numbers here is lower than the numbers directly below it. Okay, so, you know, uh, 41 we'll take 7, we can't do. 41 take 57, we can't do. 141 take 257. And so it doesn't get any easier as we go along. You'll notice this, right? So how could we approach this? And you still could. And this is the way I might do it. I still might actually then think, well, two-digit numbers are okay to take off one another, yeah? So I might just treat these in blocks of two, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to borrow, and yes, I am going to borrow. This becomes a zero, this becomes a one, and this becomes 141. Take 57. Okay, so when you're doing this, it's essentially a matter of just counting up. So, you know, you're thinking 57, go up, 43 plus 41 is 84. Okay, and now we're left with 30 take 52. You might think, oh, okay, I'll take that one there. It's going to become a 1, and this is going to become 130 take 52, which is going to be the same as 48, because this is 48 from 48 plus 30, is going to be 78. No, 130 take away 52 is 78. Finally, what we might do is we might go 61 take 17. Okay. Take this up to 20, which is 3, so it's going to be 20. Then it's going to be 40, so 44. Okay? Now, that's how I'd go about getting the answer there. So I still can use a bit of shortcuts. Instead of actually having to borrow there and borrow there and borrow there and borrow there and borrow there, I've actually minimised it so I'm only borrowing twice. Okay? Anyway, that's how you do that particular question. It's a bit of a secret. Don't let anyone know it. Just keep it to yourself, okay? Anyway... Hope that uh, helps you out a bit, and let us know how you thought about it, okay? If you get any difficulties, let me know. Alright, see you next time. Bye.